So if you watched last week's grocery haul, we got um, my, I showed what we got my uh, nieces, uh, Jesse and Sydney, for their graduation. They graduated from high school. So they just went out to the high school and I explained how they were doing it in last week's uh, vlog. You, you could only have like four people in the car. How did it go? It, they had, so here they, they are. This is Sydney and Jesse. And they look so good. Can you all stand together? They look so good. And I'm thinking, Jennifer, weren't our gowns were white too with the red when we grew up? The boys were red. Yeah, and, and Andrew's was red. And I have a picture of uh, uh, me and Andrew and Ashley all in our gowns. Because I kept my gown and I kept their gowns. So I have a picture of all three of us. So let me see the back of your hat. So it says, full of spirit. And that is zero from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Did you do anything with your Sydney? No. I, I didn't know. either. I didn't do anything with mine. Okay, so the school gave them gifts. They gave you a Cardinals, each child a Cardinals t-shirt. I had to buy one of those when I graduated and it had the name of every senior on the back. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's nice. Hold that. Um, a grab bag of Doritos. Doritos. <laughs> I went to McDonald's yeah. after. Yeah. Uh, I grabbed my yeah. lace. Got a Big Mac. I want a Big Mac. Uh oh. That sounds good. Ooh, Ooh, another one. Now, is it, so is this for both of them? No, this is just one person. Oh, okay. So they get two t shirts. I like that one. I love that shirt. Would you be able to wear that to work? Yeah. And they smell, I, mean, I don't yeah, know what they got smelly on them, but they smell good. Oh, it's this. What is what that? Is it's an air freshener for a car. Smell that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that smells good, I, I think. I got in my car. Um, a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I'm sure those, all that was donated. Uh, three musketeers. Yeah. One of y'all can have the musketeers, because I don't eat musketeers. A gift card. <gasps> what? Starbucks. Oh, well, that's convenient for, for you all. For $10. People love to get the Starbucks gift card. You and know, um, if, and if you don't want to get coffee, you should get one of the Kentucky mugs. Cause, or yeah. just junk. So, or, or food, so yeah. um, Dr. Scobie's son graduated this year. So that's where the toothbrush. Yep, <laughs> yep, you out. know. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. The rest of this was probably bought at the. You ought to see what I bought you. Look at see what I bought you. This is a good gift. Hold on. Hold on. I, I got you both the same but different. That's an I have cotton candy perfume. Mm -hmm. Those are vanilla. Now, Sydney's are a different flavor. I haven't tried them. Those are new and they're delicious. I love them. Oh, there's a lot of mermaids. I love mermaids. Ooh, Parmesan those, to garlic. Do you like garlic bread? I love garlic. Okay, those are so strong they taste just like garlic bread. We like them pork ladies potato chips. Yeah, they're good. Uh, I have an ice those, cube. Those I, you, I haven't had the Archie okay, grape in forever. They taste so I figure good. you're home a little bit. You would like to... Oh, yeah. yeah, Sydney, we know you like to order from Amazon. <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite perfumes. John calls it Midnight in Winchester. Never, oh. ever. I'm gonna now, yours are the Biscoff cream. So I figure you all could switch. If you don't like something, you can switch with each other. Mm. I'll use those in a second. And cheddar cheese Pringles. Thank you. Believe how popular these coloring books are. Oh, I know. Ashley has bought her several, Harold. And uh, I have a lot. Some of those pans are expensive. And I just like to, I like to color in the kids. Is it these kind of pens? Are you talking about like gel pens? Or? Yeah, gel pens. The ones gel pens are expensive. $20 for a thing of 12. Well, hopefully you enjoyed getting to see uh, my nieces, uh, Jesse and Sydney. Um, I asked my sister, I had mentioned in last week's vlog that they were going they were going to pull up to the school and then you had a certain amount of time to get out of the car and they were going to go in and, and walk across the um, I guess the stage, stage yeah. and they were filming it 
and so my sister said it went off i think it went off better than she uh, said it was fine and she said it was just sad that, that that's all they got right no. yeah because but you, they did have a bunch of teachers there um applauding them and they had nice. somebody on the stage handing out she said they she didn't shake hands or anything she would literally held it out and they would walk up and get it and walk on yeah so so that's nice at least at least they got that uh yeah so uh but it was it was fun you know uh getting to see them today and getting to see them in their gowns and stuff like that but we we on the way home from my sisters we stopped at the post office and um, we actually did not get what i was expecting to get oh, so really? we'll have to go back Goodbye. again today uh we will probably skip a day and then go that way we give it some time uh, but i got a card from bobby in illinois and it says congratulations uh, how wonderful for you. Hi, Tammy. Am I right that May 16th will be your 10-year YouTube anniversary? <laughs> I <girl>. only discovered <laughs> your channel in the past month or so, but I'm so glad that I did. Thank you for all the enjoyment your videos have given me, and congratulations on your successful 10 years. Um, and this is Bobby, and I won't say your last name. I try not to say last names because uh, some people don't like that. Um, I have no idea. I have no I idea how long I've, I honestly, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I couldn't tell you. It has been a while. Um, because we moved in here on, um, in 2012 and I started the YouTube channel right before that. Yeah. So, you started two years before that. Yeah. I, it was right before that. So. Thank you very much. I, I do not even pay attention. Um, so, but thank you. Uh, and I know, um, I know from your name, uh, who you are and you comment all the time. And I could, I can always tell when someone is just finding the channel because it's like, Oh, this is a new person, new name, new thumbnail, uh, the picture, because I really do pay attention to stuff like that. And I love getting to know, uh, new people. So thank you very much for, um, for watching our videos. I appreciate the card too. So this card is just listing most of the stuff in the box and it just says, hope you all, hope you are all well. Thank you so much for all the eating you do. We all appreciate it. Uh, much love. Ellen. So this is Eleanor. From the UK. Yeah, Eleanor. And oh, you yeah. have to see, uh, this is... It's really pretty cool. Very, very pretty. I love that. I actually uh, stood at that phone, uh, that phone box and had Kevin take my picture with uh, mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth Tower in the background. Oh. I'm amazed they had, I wonder who they had to... Uh, uh, block off and threaten to keep the streets empty that empty. I know I'm thinking <laughs> oh well, no you can you can there, see there is people there maybe they removed them they did life. you know what I, if you look closely you shadows and stuff. if you look closely you can tell that they have removed, removed them people. yeah look there's somebody right there but if they do it on a Sunday morning it's pretty it's pretty light but there's still people around it's really uh, yeah I, I've said that impossible. a million times and right now would would be a great time to take pictures um i'm thinking that the photographers over there are probably having so much fun i have a friend um his name is malcolm and um he sends me these videos of uh people that that walk around london and that's what they do they walk around and they film walking from one place to another because it's just nice to see the sights. Of course, we did that. Yeah, we did that too. But it's nice to see the sights and especially right now to see, okay, how many people are out, how much traffic is out and all that. And so I really enjoy those videos. But yes, I have stood at that, um, that uh, phone box. So she sent M&S Peach and Passion Fruit Jaffa Cakes. I love um, M&S brand anyway. These are raspberry Jaffa cakes. I think it's interesting that they're now doing Jaffa cakes. Uh, the peach and passion fruits actually say limited edition. I'm wondering how long they've been doing their own version of Jaffa cakes. Because I, I did not notice these at all when we wrote them. I don't remember them. No. Um, of course, we can't see everything, you know. Uh, but you would think going into the stores as much as we do, uh, these are new. Waffles, this is a sal uh, salted caramel. This one is double chalk. 
This is strawberry. And this is choco hazelnut. I can't wait to try these because they actually look like waffles. Yeah, and, they feel like waffles. Yeah, and two of them are in chocolate and two of them are in just the, um, like the regular. Okay, Those, I'm probably gonna give you random stuff. They're, they're little sponge cakes is what, how they describe them. All right, these are probably gonna be kind of random. Okay, well, hold on. There's one of those and one of those. One of those. No mo. Okay. Am I saying that right? No mo. No missing out. A creamy chalk bar, vegan and free from dairy, gluten, egg, and nuts. Hmm. So um, this one is the creamy chalk, and this is caramel and sea salt chalk. I love it that she sent things that I mean we've never seen these. These are, I love the packaging. Mm -hmm. Packaging is cool. Um, Something nougat. Mummy Megs. Oh, Megs. M E A G Z. Yeah. Megs, is that how you would say that? Mummy Megs. Uh, this is a, a Rocky Road. They're both Rocky And these are, uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is original. And this is uh, sea salt and uh, cinder toffee. They're both vegan. No. Uh, yeah, they're both gluten-free and vegan. So now I'm wondering if Eleanor, I mean, this is a complete guess, but I'm wondering maybe if Eleanor is vegan and she no pays attention to the vegan stuff, or did she just say, oh, these are new, I want to send them. So I'm wondering if you've tried these, Eleanor. Uh, these are... Bouja Bouja? Bouja Bouja. Uh, <laughs> two uh, chocolate truffles, and these are a dairy-free. And these are chocolate truffles. Oh, they're both chocolate truffles. Chocolate truffles, chocolate truffles. Hold on, wait a minute. It's on the end. Oh, hazelnut and almond caramel. I thought <laughs> I said chocolate twice. Hazelnut and almond caramel. Now these are candies. Daisy and Dam. These are buttons, dark chocolate buttons. Crunchy dark chocolate balls and dark, dark, dark chocolate drops. drops. These are natural ingredients, no palm oil. Oh, here's another no no mo. Oh, okay. This one is fruit and crunch chalk bar. And little bars like this can be pricey too. So I'm yeah. I'm sure all these these are uh yeah no palm oil. Uh, natural ingredients. These are vegan. These are vegan products as well. Mallow and Marsh. Uh, this is salted caramel marshmallows. These are cranberry marshmallows. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, limited edition smoothies Skittles. I think we've tried these. Uh, they look familiar. I think Dr. J sent us these. They look familiar. If we've remember. tried them before, then we, of course we'll just enjoy them. And these flavors sound familiar. Banana, pineapple, apricot, raspberry, and blueberry. Um, we'll look. Yeah, we'll look. And if, if we, we have it, we'll, if yeah. we have, we'll still enjoy them. Yeah, we love Skittles. So. Watch it. Oh, these are Taste the Difference. What brand is that? Is that an Aldi? She probably said on that thing. I don't know why I'm thinking. Sainsbury's. Oh. It's Sainsbury's. Uh, Taste the Difference. Cherry Bakewell shortbread with nibbed almonds and cherries. This is limoncello. Limoncello and, and white, white chocolate, chocolate chunks with Belgian white chocolate chunks. And I love the uh, the, the, the packaging cans. because you don't have to worry about these getting smashed at all, especially when they're coming. Yeah, I mean that's that's nice, and then you can and, uh, store them in there. So thank you very, very much, Eleanor. Eleanor has sent us stuff in the past. Uh, so yeah, we She are, said this is probably the last box unless she finds something. Big, uh, a big Jaffa cake. Find the big Jaffa cake. Oh, wow. Uh, well, hey, I appreciate oh, it. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially right now when, uh, you know, some people are uh, having trouble uh, finding stuff in the store and getting to the store and all that stuff. I appreciate you doing this for mm -hmm. us. It, it means a lot to us. Uh, so lots of reviews coming soon. So today is Saturday and I want to show you something. Um, Ashley has been like 
uh, because she's been out of school and everything, you know, she's been having meetings online and stuff like that. And she's been doing a lot of work, but she's also taken this opportunity to clean her room. So today she decided that she was going to go through all of her books. Now I'm not talking about, we did videos on, she bought a lot of boxes of books for, uh, she teaches at an elementary. So she has a ton of books upstairs for elementary age. So these books are ones that she's decided she did not want and they're for like middle school or high school and they came in the boxes that she got. She got them at like half price books. So they came in those boxes and some of them are like, um, I think books that she, that I know they're books that she had herself that she's just, just decided she didn't want. So I figured I would show you what I've had to do with them because half price books is not open. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take them to half price books. But so she has all of these, but then this is what I really want to show you. All of these, none of those books does she plan on keeping. I went up the steps, up and down the steps, probably, I wish I had my Fitbit. I'll have to tell you how many times I, I'll put it on the screen how many times I went up and down the steps because I told her, I said, I bet you I won't be able to move tomorrow. It feels like we've been decorating for Christmas and I've taken all the boxes up and down the steps. That's what it felt like getting all these books up and down the steps. So these are only going to be here until Half Price Books opens back up and uh, then we'll take them there because... Um, as far as what we've been told in our area, you're not going to be able to have any yard sales this year. So I learned something new today that I want to tell you. Um, we are watching the show Ozark and we tried to watch it like a long time ago. It seems like we tried to watch it like a year ago and we didn't even make it through the first episode because it's a dark show. It's not a happy show. It's not... Um, uplifting um, so we quit watching it before the first show had the first episode had even ended and so my sister's been watching it and she's like you have to watch the show she said it's she said we're binge watching it she said it's absolutely terrific you need to watch it and I said you know what I've heard that from a lot of people a lot of people lately have been talking about Ozark I said we'll give it another try so I'm going to give a little spoiler alert. We've only watched the first five episodes, so it's not going to be a like a major spoiler because I haven't watched the we haven't watched the whole show. But we've gotten I'm going to give a little spoiler. Um one little thing. Um we've gotten to a part in the show where they showed this great big field of these red flowers and Kevin said, "Oh, those look like poppies." And I said, yeah, that's what they look like. And I said, I'm sure that's supposed to, to signify something, but who knows what that's supposed to signify. And so my sister asked me, um, she said, what, how much have you watched of Ozark? Uh, cause she wants to keep track of where we are and what I know. And I said, we've watched the first five episodes. And I said, but they showed this big field of uh, flowers. I said, I'm not getting that, but you know, whatever. And she said, um, poppies, heroin. And I was like, oh, okay. So heroin comes from poppies? And she said, yeah, you know, like in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And she said, in The Wizard of Oz, they make them, uh, the witch makes the uh, people go to sleep. She gives them poppies to make them go to sleep as they're getting to the, uh, the Emerald City. And I said, I never got that before. Um, I love The Wizard of Oz. It's in my top, one of my top musicals. I never got that. I always thought that she was enchanting the flowers. Because when they show her, she's saying poppies i'll give them poppies and she's moving her hands around and and i thought she was i thought she was giving the poppies their flower i mean their their power i never realized that the flower itself had any power i had no idea so 
I'm very naive when it comes to drugs. I have no idea how people make them. I've never been curious how they're made or what they're made of or anything like that. Um, you know, why would I need to know something like that? Why would I need to know? I, it's not like I'm going to eat one, so why do I need to know what it does? Um, but that's just, I had to tell you that to tell on myself because I never got that. And after all these years, I'm just finding out that they were drugged. So I wanted to tell you one more thing um, about Ozark since we were on the subject. Um, this guy, uh, Charlie, uh, I can't pronounce his last name. He plays in Ozark as Wyatt. And he also, um, it's interesting, he did the voice of Victor. Victor, who is in Frankenweenie. So now, every time I look at him, I have Victor sitting in the chair with the rest of his family. He's sitting in the chair in the den watching TV with us. And I, I think of him. I think of Victor every time I see Wyatt. I just thought that was very, very interesting. I didn't know if you all had ever looked him up. When Kevin and I are uh, watching a anything honestly i was gonna say whenever, whenever we're watching a new tv show but that's not true because anytime we're watching anything we always recognize somebody even if it's an old movie from the the 30s we're like okay who is this person what else have they played in if it's a really old movie we'll look up okay when did they die um how old were they um, and usually we're real morbid because, or some people would think we're morbid because we're like, okay, this person's last appearance on the Golden Girls was in this year. How long after they did this did they die? <laughs> we did that just the other night with somebody. We were watching some movie and Kevin looked him up and he was like, oh, okay, he lived for uh, like six more years, is somebody we were watching, he died six years after he played this role. So anyway, but that's how we find out a lot about, a lot about people. But I thought it was interesting that I thought he looked familiar. I really thought that I have seen him um, somewhere before, but uh, uh, Kevin looked up things that he's actually been in, shows, and he was an I Am Legend, but we only saw that one time. Um, but now that I'm looking through stuff he's been in, um, Castle Rock, I just, I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think I'd, he looked, his face looks familiar, but as far as seeing him in something, I don't think I've ever seen him in, in anything. So it's neat that he was the voice of Victor. So, um, speak, going back to my nieces and graduating from um, high school, I wanted to tell you all that uh, my sister lives, she lives in a really nice neighborhood, and you could probably see the houses around her from uh, when I was showing them on video. Um, but they live in a really nice, quiet neighborhood. And uh, so, a few nights ago, it was a few nights after I filmed them graduating, um, someone knocked on the door and they went to the door and they found an envelope and in that envelope there was a letter and my sister read it to me over the phone it was really really long um but basically it was from a couple that lives around the corner an older couple that lives around the corner from them in their neighborhood they have no idea who these people are these people do not know my sister and her family, but they saw the signs in the yard, congratulations graduates, something like that from 2020. And um, they were basically saying that they knew this was a hard time for graduates and um, it just, it was a long letter. But long story short, they have a, they gave them a Visa gift card in that um, envelope. And I thought, I mean, that's, it almost makes you want to cry from emotion, from just such, such a nice thing that they did. And uh, just so selfless. And, and I told my sister, I said, you know, that, that shows you that there's really, really good people um, in the world. And I think, um, I think that's something that 
I see every single day on my YouTube channel. It was something that surprised me, honestly. That's just the truth. It was something that surprised me when I was doing, started, first started doing YouTube videos is I would get these comments and of course you get um, the, trolls. the trolls, the mean, hateful comments. Of course you get those. But those are so few and those people are so blocked that they don't get to comment. <laughs> I had to say that. Um, that there are so many nice people and so many wonderful comments and so many of you all just want to, um, you know, talk to somebody like we want to talk to people like Kevin and I do. And uh, there's so many nice people out there and I don't think you see that often enough on the news. Um, that there are good people out there. And so I thought that was so nice of these people that they don't even know to give them a Visa gift card for their graduation. Um, you know, because, uh, you know, they didn't get gifts from everybody. And so for, for strangers to, to give them a gift, um, was a huge deal. It really meant a lot. Um, so next I have something, um, I hope that'll be exciting to some of you to see. My sister and her husband are actively looking for a house. They, even though I said, Jennifer, why would you want to move out of this neighborhood? It's so nice. We stood out there for like 40 minutes talking on their driveway and it, the, the, the houses are, you can tell the yards, they're so well taken care of. You can tell everybody cares about their property. You don't see a bunch of stuff sitting out front or, you know, cars up in the, the yard. You just don't see a lot of stuff. And everybody's uh, grass was cut and it's just very nicely taken care of. I said, why would you want to move out of this neighborhood? It's so nice and it's quiet. Um, it's on a quiet street, I think. And um, she said, you know, we just would like to be out uh, where we're not so close to the neighbors. I am going to meet her in less than an hour. And the house, uh, she has told me, she said, you can film in there. And she said, and you can go ahead and share it because this one is listed. It is on uh, the websites and it's empty right now, but I cannot wait to see it in person. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about it before I got out to the house. It reminds me very, very much of the Brady Bunch. Jennifer and I grew up watching the Brady Bunch, love the Brady Bunch. This house is like the Brady Bunch. That's what it looks like. It is awesome. I would live in this house. Now, I love our house because I love, there's, there's things that I just love about this that you're not going to get in a newer house. I love the high ceilings. Uh, to me, that's a plus. It makes the rooms bigger, but the rooms are larger. So we have larger rooms. We have high ceilings. Um, I love the wood floors. Uh, that, that impresses me, uh, because you don't always get, uh, really nice wood floors. Um, I just like the, there's just different features. I like the, the, um, the thick, uh, baseboards and the, uh, what is that? The crown molding. And, and I like the mantles, even though we don't use the fireplaces. I like the mantles. In our old house, we had a fireplace and a mantle in there. But it was a very, very small house. And so in that house, I hated having it because it took up space that we really could have used that space. Um, Whereas in this house, the rooms are big enough to where, okay, it doesn't matter that the fireplace is there because we have enough room anyway. So the things that I've seen about this house that we're going to look at online, the pictures just look awesome. It is like a big open space when you walk in. It has the great big living room like the Brady Bunch with the tall ceilings. It looks like, like in the Brady Bunch, they have the double front door this place has that um then the kitchen 
um, in the Brady Bunch. Um, it seems like they had like a, a big stone fireplace or maybe their stone fireplace was in their living room. But I remember the, the big stone fireplace being in that main space. This has that in the kitchen and the kitchen looks like something from the 70s. I think it's awesome. I really do. Um, then the bathroom, like the bathroom, uh, the one that I've seen, it has like this pink and white tile, which I like. Kevin has always, every time I show him a bathroom with that kind of tile, he's like, ah, I would have to tear that out. I love it. I love the vintage, like, if it's a 50s home and they have that pink and white tile, I personally think it's awesome and I would not touch it. I would leave it. Um, but this house has two kitchens. So there's a kitchen when you go in um, on the main living area, in the main floor. But then downstairs, there's another kitchen. So um, I was teasing her. I said, if you got this house, then... Uh, Aunt Pat would have to move in with you. That's my aunt. I said, she'd have to move in with you because you have a kitchen downstairs. Um, but uh, the bedroom, so, so um, the thing that I've noticed is it looks like there's carpet all over except for the bedrooms. But the bedrooms have really, really nice uh, wood floors. And she said that she was under the impression that underneath the carpet in like the living room and all the other spaces, it was the same wood floor. So I'm wondering if we can't go to the corner and like peel up a piece so that we can see. Because I know in this house, if you go way, 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 way back to when we first moved in this house, the first thing we did was we, Kevin redid the floors in the living room and the den because ever since we lived here, since I mo we moved into this house when I was in third grade, this was my family, my childhood home. Mom and dad always had carpet out in the living room and the den, always had carpet. And dad always was under the impression, oh, those floors are too bad to, re to refinish. Well, they weren't because Kevin refinished them and they're gorgeous. Um, so I'm wondering if she can't just pull up that carpet and then have wood floors. Um, but it is on a lot of, uh, like it is in a subdivision, but it's on, it's like a big property. So like the front and backyard are absolutely massive. They're huge. Uh, there's a big garage where there's a work area. Um, it just looks like a lot of space, um, quite a bit of space, and it has, um, it has paneling, but it's not cheap paneling, so there's a difference. There's cheaper paneling, and there's more expensive wood paneling. This is a more expensive wood paneling. This is what I would consider very nice wood paneling, and, um, so, uh, I told her, I said, I actually like that wood paneling because... Um, you don't have to worry about it. If you paint your walls, that's a job for the future. If you wallpaper your walls, that's a job for the future. You know, wallpaper is never going to stay up forever. You're always going to have to deal with it. If you paint, it's always going to get nicks in it or it's going to get chipped or something like that. You're always going to have to retouch it. It's not going to last forever. But that wood paneling, you could leave it up for a hundred years and it's going to be fine. You're never going to have to do anything to it. So I think that's a plus. And it has like, a, there's places where it has built-in shelves and all that. So anyway, that is uh, the next thing I'm going to show you in this video. And you all can tell me what you think of it. Now this is a, this, they put this one in. This is cool. This bathroom. I think it is too. Something special. Hey look, there's a door. Jesse, open it. What's in there? There's a door in the bathroom? Oh, it's like a little... That's where Harry Potter lived when he was a baby. <laughs> oh, my phone. <laughs> What's in there? Nothing. There's nothing in there. I wish there was something. I know, it's are trying to see. Uh, there's a kitchen down here. There's two kitchens. 
It's so odd how there's like one this thing in here. I think it's and then awesome. In that basement area. This reminds me. Did you uh, do you remember the um, the this asylum? Is the, this is the next. Yes. 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 Jennifer, look at all the food storage, though. You could have food in here. Yeah, it's right here. It's yeah, like. That's weird. I wonder why they didn't just take down that wall. This is. Like I love the high ceilings. Oh look! See, all this would have to be this closet would have. It looks like somebody has pulled up the corner, Jennifer, so you can see the floor underneath. Maybe it's hardwood. It's just to keep it clean. I wonder why that's stained right oh, there. Oh, wow, that's old. something burned. Well, there's a fireplace right here on the end. I mean, this is some nice hey, mom, no, Yeah, but look, see how how that's stained? Yeah, I do see. Well, it's kind of like that on the other side too. I think that's just the stone. It's over here too. Is that a water damage right there? Makes uh, it looks like it might have had some water in the the, but they might have fixed it too. Oh, Tammy and you, oh, look at this. You and you think this? Tammy thinks it's wonderful. Why you just like pop it? Okay, I like the pink. I do too. And your daddy was like, eh, I oh, I think it's. Cute. And I like the pink too. Okay, but I like I that pink. I don't like that pink. And I love the wood in these uh, in these uh, rooms. Oh, I wonder if that's what's under this carpet. I think so. But unfinished. So the video isn't as good as what I had hoped to get, but, and I didn't film the outside at all, but the real estate agent, um, which he's real nice, her real estate agent and his wife were there, and I didn't want them to know that I was filming. So uh, the video quality is not as good as it could be. And um, I didn't get the outside at all just because I didn't want to show the outside of the house and they were outside too so um but long story short my sister ended up she realized that that house would need too many updates so i'm gonna leave it in the video so that you all can see it because i still think it's a cool house i think it's really cool i think that i agree there was like a there was like a crack in a wall and there was um, just some things that, you know, you would have to take the carpet up. I mean, some people wouldn't mind that carpet at all. It looked like nice carpet, but, um, she's not used to carpet in her house and we're not used to carpet in our house either. So we prefer hardwood, uh, that, that floor does have hardwood underneath the carpet. So, but there was just a lot of work that they would want to do to make it their own. Um, I personally did not think it was that big of a deal, but to them it was that big of a deal. Um, so they will not be getting that house. But like I said, I wanted to leave it in here to show it to you because I thought it was cool. Uh, I truly, it's like Brady Bunch. And you could tell that, um, um, an older person had lived there and I think they, they took care of it. 
uh, they probably didn't even realize that there was that crack in the wall until they moved their furniture or something like that. But there's no gouges in the floor or um, anything like that. It, the, the backyard was nice. Um, you could definitely, uh, you saw the kitchen downstairs. So if, if somebody did only want uh, a bedroom and a kitchen, I mean, they could stay down there. So I just thought that was cool. Something else about that house that I forgot to bring up, there was a crack in the wall, which I told you about, but also there was that chimney in the kitchen, and you could tell that at some point they had had trouble with um, a leak. Now, that might not be a current problem, and the only way to know that would be to have an inspector over there. Um, but the actual stone on the chimney was... Um, a different color it was uh, stained but then you could see on the ceiling right in there that it looked like it had had some moisture at some point too so you know that's just something that an inspector would look at uh, but my sister and her husband they were not interested enough anyway to even um, to make an offer because they thought for the things that needed to be done to it that they were asking too much for it. Now, my sister did say though, uh, she said, I do think they're asking too much for it. She said, but I think they'll get what they're asking because at least in our area, I don't know how it is where you are living, but in our area, houses are selling quick. It is a seller's market. You could put, we could put our house up for sale right now and it would probably be pending uh, within a week. That's how they are right now. And I don't know why that's, um, I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Houses, um, they're going fast. So this person will probably get what she wants for that house. But in my, my sister and her husband's opinion, it, it just wasn't worth it to them. So Kevin and I just went out. Uh, we looked at two houses uh, with my sister and her we husband. Didn't, we didn't look at them necessarily. <laughs> no, we, for us. we looked at them. No, they know because oh, I showed them. Us. I talked about it. We looked at them for my sister. What's funny is they're both on our street. So, <laughs> so um, they were honestly, they were both very, very nice houses. Um, but they were both completely different. So the thing about our street is, you know our house. Our house was built in 1909. So it's a Victorian home, it's very, very old. So you have houses like that on our street, but then you also have houses that were probably built, what was that, probably built 60s. in the 60s? Um, well, that one, the first one or the was 50s. probably the 40s. Or the 40s, okay. And then the second one was probably the 60s. Right, so we looked at a house from the 40s and we looked at a house from the 60s. They were were both very nice houses but they were very very different too uh, just because the one from the 40s honestly had a lot more character than the one from the 60s but the one from the 60s I think that's the one that my sister is the most interested in and I didn't film because um, I couldn't there was just I don't there was no way for me to not really. not really it wasn't like when Ashley and I went earlier and you saw that we were kind of walking around separate kind of it wasn't like that here we were kind of all going together and so I didn't want um, her real estate agent to be uh, feel funny you know with me filming and I didn't want to ask so. Yeah. We're looking at another house with my sister and this one is out on a farm and it has some property and look at this cool tree house. That is so neat looking. That would be a nice place to, to just sit up there and read but I love the view. And here's the here's the back of the house. The the yeah the gutters are full. <laughs> they said that that the gutters were absolutely full. Um, but this is the back. That's got a concrete fence too, because that's got a, a brick right there. And there's another porch on the side. Yeah. There's another deck on down there. Inside that, that's brick though. That was their back porch. Yeah. They, they walled it in. So we're early. We're ahead of the real estate agent. He's going to be here in about 15 minutes. So I probably, I don't know if I'll be able to show you the inside or not, but I wanted to show you at least the view because it's so pretty. 
So here's a better look at the back of the house. And she said that this pasture was would be theirs and also this one. And then there's a huge building back here. Uh, it's like big enough for like an RV or something. It's like that thing's got a thing where you pull it and it opens up. It... Yeah. Well, is, that, is that for their air conditioner on the RV? When the tractor thing would come through. Yeah. So it did in the... So do they have an RV? Oh, okay. What did, oh wow, this is for horses. Okay. Yeah. And this is the, oh, there's a dead bird. Ooh. Oh, there, I won't film the dead bird. This is the, ta this is the tack room. What is a tack room? Uh, I hear birds. Where you do this? Where you put your side And then, that's what, yeah, where you put your side. This right here is actually a wash bag where you wash them. Oh, wow. Jennifer, you have baby the birds. Stall. There's baby birds up there. I can hear them. You got three stalls. Well, they're all open. All these stalls are open. And then... You can park. If you had them all alone, you can... And then up them. there, you can walk up, and that's where you keep all your hay up there. Oh, that's so neat. You know, if you buy something like this, you just have to buy a horse. You can fill underneath. You can always fill underneath. You can fill the wood. Yeah. I know, I like that. It's a really cool bath. Bathroom. Oh, Ashley, did you see how you get up on top of this treehouse? No. Huh. Did you see how you get up on the treehouse? No. I, tried, I was going to get up there. But the and this is a closet. Like they took a whole room and made it a closet off the master bedroom. And that bathroom was right through there. And there's two other, two, two other bedrooms. And then shape them as a climb or roll. They actually have a light over top of just the top. Oh, yeah, that's nice. This is what I wanted to do. So, this is another bathroom. And then there's how many bedrooms are there? How many other two? two? The yeah, that one and this one. And they're both good sized bathrooms. So the, the front door is right there. And then there's a basement. So here's the kitchen. I don't know if I showed the kitchen very well or not. There's the kitchen, which is a good size kitchen. And then here's the basement. Huge area. That, that's why we first made the offer that now, we did. Is it that and then gas, is it? Yeah. No, that's a wood burn. Oh, that's a wood burn, but there's gas heat and electric. He said that is a no-no oh, to have the door swinging down because because you, it, you, gotta, because you can hit you and you can hit get knocked down the steps. So this is like a a med room or something. It's only got two bathrooms. In oh, this is the garage. Wow. Yeah, I'm That's the garage. Look at all this. Look at all this space here. Right this, huh. Look at, I mean, that's for your washer and dryer because that's, there's, yeah, oh, wow. I know, a whole other section that we oh, didn't see. Yeah. Kevin and I want to wish Hannah Myers a very, very happy, happy birthday. birthday.
birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, your boyfriend, Lucas, contacted me and he said that you were a fan of our YouTube page and so I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, they uh, live in Canada and so it's nice to know that we have uh, some Canadian friends that, that like the channel. Uh, you'll have to let me know uh, what you did on your birthday. You'll have to leave a comment now below as, um, and let us know what you were able to do since we're, we're not able to really get out and do a lot of things. And let us know what videos you, do you like. Do you like the vlogs? Do you like the, the food reviews? What do you like? But I hope that you do have a very happy birthday. Well, I have a box here from Evelyn in um, California. And um, I'm gonna open it for you. Um, I will tell you how Bobby contacted me. My friend Bobby, she contacted me and she said, she sent me, she mailed me something like a week ago. And normally, uh, she lives in California. And normally it doesn't take but just a few days to get here. It's been over a week. So I fully thought when I went down there to the post, uh, the P.O. box, I fully thought, oh, her box is going to be there uh, today. No, not here. Okay, now that I have I've opened this up and you can't see her address. Um, okay, she has sent us some Landa Lakes Cocoa Classics. This is Irish Cream and Chocolate Hot Cocoa Mix. She sent us two of those. She sent some Quaker Oatmeal Raisins and Spice. I don't know that we've ever had raisins and spice. That smell, I can smell enough of that to make me want some of that. Oh, okay, I, I see what you sent now. Uh, this is instant oatmeal, raisin, date, and walnut. That sounds so good. Um, this does not say Quaker on it, so I don't know what company that's from. This is what she was wanting to send me. I said that we could not find these anywhere. These are the Tate's Bake Shop. We found the strawberry and cream, but we couldn't find the lemon cookies anywhere. And um, it's so funny that uh, she found these in California and they're out of Southampton, New York. So you would think we are closer in proximity to New York. We should get them first, but we didn't. They like bypassed us and went straight to California. Thank you very much. And she's also sent me, Walnut chocolate chip cookies. Thank you so much. I cannot, I can't wait. I can't wait to try these. Uh, let's see. There's a card in here. She also sent me the box. Oh, now would you say Statter, Statter Brothers? Like Statler Brothers, like the Statler Brothers. Statter Brothers or Stater? I don't think it's I don't know. Is it stater with a long A? Stater or stater? Um, this is uh, raisins, dates, and walnuts. This is the instant oatmeal box. And I've been never seen this brand here before. Um, it says Stater Brothers Markets. So that must be the name of a store. And it is in San Bernardino, San Bernardino California. Um, thank you very much for including the box. Um, because I will definitely um, uh, assemble that and uh, take a picture of it and everything and have the calories and all that stuff. Um, now I will look at her card. Oh, it says open first. Um, it was on the bottom. <laughs> it, well, it was, it was like this. So all the stuff was on top of it. Sorry, I didn't see that. It does say open first though. And she said Kevin too, but Kevin is actually on the computer right now. Um, it's 1.22, it's in the middle of the day, and he is um, he's uh, doing some training sessions online. Um, this is very pretty. That is a Hallmark card, and it has a pineapple on it. And it's kind of like a, it's a textured card. There we go. It says, 
Hi, Tammy and Kevin. I hope you and your family are doing well in this crazy time. Enclosed are the lemon takes cookies you were looking for in my favorite flavor, walnut chocolate chip. They were $4.99 at Vaughn's, and I've heard the name Vaughn's. That's familiar. Um, I have a friend, um, Sylvia, and she shops at Vaughn's. Uh, the biggest competitor to Ralph's, uh, the SoCal version of Kroger. That makes sense. Um, I've also sent Quaker Raisins and Spice Oatmeal, it was $2.89, to compare with a Statter Brothers store brand, Raisins, Dates, and Walnuts Oatmeal, and it was only $1.79. So I can understand why you would like a comparison because, I mean, it's a, it's a dollar, it's over a dollar difference in price. Um, to compare. Uh, Stater Brothers is a smaller SoCal chain. Also, some hot chocolate I got on Amazon in a 12-pack, about 85 cents each, that you can't find in stores here. Thanks for the great videos. I've even started listening to Bob and Sherry on your recommendation. Take care, Evelyn. That is awesome that you have started listening to Bob and Sherry. Um, yeah, I have been listening to them for so many years, and uh, Kevin is the one that found them first because Kevin uh, would commute to work, and so he's listening to the radio in his car every morning, and so he found Bob and Sherry, and he would talk about them and talk about, tell me about things they had talked about, um, and just how much he liked them, and other radio shows that he listens to, they're a bit goofy, and they do that goofy, uh, that typical goofy drive time talk that, you know, just goofy stuff. And I, I've never gotten into that, but I like Bob and Sherry because they talk about, they do occasionally talk about goofy stuff, but then they talk about stuff that's very relatable and everyday stuff. And, um, I have always, always enjoyed, uh, Sherry has, has children. I, I enjoy getting to hear about her life and and what she's doing as a mom and and, and bob has children and um um you know he's experienced uh, some uh, some hardships uh going through uh, the death of one of his children and and uh, i know uh, i remember when that happened and i just was not the same for like a week ashley said i remember when his his son john died and you were upset you were shaken and I was because it's like when you uh, when you listen to these people for so long it's like they become your family you know um, and and I was just thinking about there was a youtuber and I really really liked her channel and um, she it's been probably I would say eight months ago that she just vanished she vanished from um, YouTube with, she took every single one of her videos down, she took her channel down, she took everything down, and I still miss her. I still check for her Instagram account, which she took it down. I've checked for Facebook. I've checked for any sign that maybe she's moved on to another platform. Maybe she doesn't want to show her face anymore. Maybe she just wants to do a Craftsy channel or something like that. I would watch her in any format because I got to know her family. I got to know her and her husband and her daughter and their pets, and I miss her very, very much. And uh, so, anyway, I feel the same way about Bob and Sherry. It's like, it's like, um, you know, once you've listened to them for a while, it's like family. And I love listening to them. Um, the podcast, I love being able to, to listen to it on my phone because I can skip over all those commercials because um, the commercials, if you're listening to them on the radio, the commercials take forever. But some of the ones on the podcast also take forever. Like, the, like you know, recently they were advertising something, I think, for Mother's Day or something. And it's like, I was stuck in the shower while I had my phone on. I was stuck in the shower listening to this. And I thought, this is a 10-minute commercial. I wish I could just uh, go, th you know, skip through it. So anyway, I'm so glad that you you enjoy them too. And thank you very, very much for sending me all of this. I really appreciate it. I am going to end the vlog here for the week. Um, I know that Kevin and I did not sit down in front of the computer and do our uh, 
movie thing or questions or list or top 10 or 5 or whatever and I missed doing that this week. I really did. Uh, but we'll do it next week because I've, I have questions right here. They're, they're sitting right here on my desk and I want to get back to that. I just thought that uh, this week it was cool uh, that I was able to take you along with us to see some of the houses that my sister had looked at. And I will tell you just to, to wrap up this little, that portion of it so that I won't leave you for weeks and weeks wondering what happened. That last, that house that, that we were looking at that was out in the country, they really liked it. They had put an offer in on it a couple weeks ago and it was declined. Um, so they put in another offer on it uh, the, yesterday when we went to look at it. And so my sister's husband wanted to go see it again. And my Jennifer, my sister said, you know, I think we should wait to see if they accept the, our offer before we go back out there. But John wants to go out there, so we're going to go out there. And um, they had been told, this is the thing. They had been told by the, whoever owns the house, by their real estate agent, that these people were willing to work with people that they they want out so they're willing to they're taking offers you know uh because clearly no one's living in that house so they're carrying two mortgages right now they have their new mortgage plus they're still paying payments on this house so they're willing to work with people that is not true at all because my sister and her husband put in a very very solid offer um it should have been accepted really it should have been accepted there was no reason for these people not to accept the offer yes it was for less than they're asking but i don't know about in your area but in our area people don't pay for what you you know if you're asking sometimes on these home shows you'll hear uh they got paid uh ten thousand dollars above asking price that does not happen very often around here that I, i'm aware of normally around here it's like you buying a used car or what buying a used car used to be like they will take you don't ever give them what they ask for you always offer less and you come to some sort of a, a middle ground these people were not willing their real estate agent whoever i don't even know who the real estate agent is but that real estate agent needs to quit telling people that because these people are not willing to to budge they they they're, they're at this price, and they want this price, and they're not going to go any lower. So, and Jennifer and John, like I said, they really did. It was a good, strong offer that they gave them, and they were willing to pay closing costs and everything, and these people just wouldn't hear of it. So, the houses, we looked at four houses. I only filmed in two. I, there was no way I could film the other two, or I would have. Um... But, uh, so they're not, they're not going with any of, of the ones that I talked about or showed you. They're just going to wait. Um, and that's what I told her. I said, you know, you need to, um, because the two that she looked at that I said were on our street, there were reasons that I think she would have had regrets about either one of those if she had chosen them. Um, one of them was just too small. One of them was too large. That that sums it up. And I think there would have been regrets if they had chosen either one of those. So I told her, I said, you know what? There's houses coming on the market every single day. And just wait where you are for now. Uh, right now, my sister has a pool in her backyard. She absolutely loves the pool. So if anything, she'll have something to do. You know, if we're not able to, to get out and run around all summer, she'll have something to do, you know, getting in her pool, and she'll enjoy that very much. So, I just, I wanted to wrap that up because I didn't want to uh, leave you hanging there. Uh, but we'll do more of the um, of the, the top ten list and all that. We'll do that next week because I really enjoy it too. Uh, so, I hope you all are uh, doing well in your area, and thanks for watching.